I'm Miss Cindy and welcome to Storytime. I thought we would warm up by shaking out our hands. Good. What about your fingers? Your arms like you're swimming. And your head. Good. I think we're all ready. We're going to do open them, shut them. Here we go. One, two, three. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. <gasps> creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right up to your chin. Open wide your little mouth. <gasps> but do not let them in. Good job, everybody. Today, I thought we would talk about rain because... In the springtime, sometimes it rains a lot. So I have a story to share with you today. Once upon a time, there was a little teeny tiny ant. And he was off wandering around in the woods and it began to rain. And it was raining and raining and raining. So he looked around for some place to hide. And he saw a teeny tiny little mushroom. So underneath the mushroom he went to stay safe and dry. And the rain kept coming down and down. All of a sudden, along came a beautiful butterfly. And the butterfly had beautiful wings, but they were getting wet in the rain. And the butterfly said, Aunt, may I come under your mushroom with you? I'm getting soaking wet. And he said, oh, there's only room for me. And she said, oh, but I'm getting wet. I need a place to be safe. So he said, come on in, we'll try. So he squeezed over and the butterfly came under and there they were under their mushroom and the rain came down and down. Just then along came a little mouse. What does the mouse say? Squeak, 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 squeak. And he said, oh, it's raining and it's cold and I'm wet. Can I come under your mushroom? Oh, no, he said, there is no more room. But I'm cold and I'm wet and I need someplace safe. Okay, they said, so we'll squeeze over. And they did. There the mouse squeezed in between and the rain kept coming down. All of a sudden along came a sparrow. She was flying through the air, but she was getting wet. It was still raining and she said, oh, may I come under your mushroom too? I'm getting soaking wet. And they said, there is no more room. And she said, please, please let me in. So they all squeezed over and she got under the mushroom too. And the rain kept coming down and coming down. Just then along, hippity hop, hippity hop, hippity hop, came the bunny rabbit. Oh, the rabbit said, there's a fox chasing me. I need to come under the mushroom, please, please. He said, there's no more room. Oh, but I must, I must come under. The fox is right behind me. Okay, they said. So they all squished over and the bunny hid under the mushroom and the rain was still coming down. And just then along came Mr. Fox. And he went right up to the mushroom and he sniffed. Can you sniff? He said, I smell rabbit. Is there a rabbit in here? Oh, no, they said, no, there's no rabbit in here. It, there's no room. A rabbit couldn't possibly fit in here. So Mr. Fox went off. Just then, they heard a funny noise. They heard a sound that went, quah, quah. And the sun came out and they all came out from under the mushroom to see who was making the noise. 
And there they saw, sitting on top of their mushroom, was a little green frog. And he said, Quah! He said, What are you doing? And they said, We were hiding under the mushroom. And he said, Do you know why you all fit under the mushroom? And they said, No. And he said, Quah! And he jumped off, laughing and laughing and laughing. And they looked around, and they looked at the mushroom, and then they realized that when the rain comes down, that mushrooms grow. And the mushroom had grown big enough for all of them. One, two, three, four, five. For five of them to hide underneath. Thank you for coming to Storytime today, and don't forget to visit us at library.arlingtonva.us.